it's Reagan and today I am going to be filming a Q&A video for you guys. I personally love filming this videos because it kind of feels like a bit of a, a chit chat catch up between you and I. I always love doing these and I felt like it was especially poignant as there's a lot of transitioning going on in my life. I'm about to move out of my college apartment, about to move across the country. I'm allowed to do a lot of things that are stressing me the heck out so I figured why not sit down and talk about it because, you know, sometimes it's good to talk through your stressors. Speaking of the move, probably the majority of the questions I got were about the move. I had a lot of questions along the lines of this. This one's from Anna Love, and she asked, how do you prepare for your move? And she's also hoping to move a thousand miles away from home next year, and I don't really know if I'm doing everything I can to make it go smoothly. Well, I haven't quite done it yet, but there are some things I have been doing um, to help the process along. Obviously, I've started considering, you know, how I'm actually going to get from point A to point B for a while. Definitely don't wait to the last minute to figure out how you're actually going to physically move yourself. Be that you're going to get rid of everything and just pack a suitcase, you're going to get a U-Haul, you're going to hire movers. You should probably figure that out not to the last minute, not only to help alleviate your stress, but things get booked up really quickly, especially if you're moving during the summer. I opted for the U-Haul route, which should be interesting. I am going to vlog it. It's probably going to be a disaster. Um, other things that I've had to do in preparation, um, some of them have been really hard for me. The main one is you. I have been paring down my stuff a lot. Because of the fact that I'm moving so far and I have to move everything myself, I'm really just trying to like clean out everything. So getting rid of clothes I haven't worn in a while, getting rid of furniture that's probably, you know, on its last legs, it's not really worth the move. Like donating a lot of things, cleaning out all my cosmetics, cleaning out everything, and that includes cleaning out a lot of books. I have had to get rid of about a third to almost a half of the books that I own in preparation for this move and it has been a very emotional <laughs> thing for me. I've donated most of them to local Goodwill or libraries, things like that, but oh, it's been so hard, but like I know it's the right thing to do because I just can't move all these books. On the same note of that, it's been kind of refreshing. I've really pared down to like my favorite books or like and also the books I'm most excited to read but it also has been really sucky. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still have like pretty much two bookshelves filled with books. I just had a lot of books and I got rid of a lot of them. Also along the same line, what has been the hardest part about moving away from your hometown or like near your hometown and things like that? So obviously aside from the materialistic me having to get rid of so many of my books, Obviously saying goodbye to all my friends, it's been really hard and I feel like it's gonna hit me a lot harder when I actually start moving. Um, obviously like I've grown up in Texas so the concept of moving away from my home state I don't think it's hit me yet and it's definitely like a wild thing to even think about. I am scared. I'm really scared about the winters. I think when I get there though a lot of my fear will start to dissipate once I get settled. But yeah the hardest part has definitely been saying goodbye to friends and family. Luckily my parents just moved back to their hometown near Buffalo, New York. So I'm actually moving closer to my parents than I am currently with them, which is nice, um, but yeah, saying goodbye to friends, saying goodbye to a city that I've lived in for so long. I absolutely love Austin, Texas. I would recommend for anyone to visit or to live here. It's great. It's really hot, but it's amazing, and I'm going to miss it for sure. I am excited to like about all the new adventures moving forward in Chicago and meeting new people and like doing a whole career thing, like starting a big girl job and all those things that come with that. I am really excited about. I'm terrified, but I'm also excited. And I asked on Instagram, what is my current favorite TV show right now? I kind of touched on this in some of my more recent favorite videos, but I'm currently watching Mad Men and I'm loving it. We are, Clay and I are on season six and it's just so good. Also watching the new season of Big Brother. Big Brother this season is crazy. If you're a Big Brother fan, let me know down below. Like. I'm loving this season so much so far. Someone asked me, what YouTube do I watch besides booktube? I really love clothes. If you didn't know this about me, surprise, I love clothes and I actually run like pretty much like a fashion book Instagram. Like I'm really passionate about fashion and clothing and all of that stuff. So I watch a lot of fashion uh, YouTube as well. Like it's pretty much 50-50 for me. I love books, I love clothes. So I watch about 50% of each on YouTube. Some of my favorite fashion YouTubers or clothes encounters, I really love this like British trio, like Hello October and Liv Purvis as well as I Covet Thee. I just really like their styles and they're like sweet and they feel normal. I don't know. 
I don't know them, but they seem really nice and I really do like their um, channels a lot. Speaking of clothing, someone asked me what are the clothing staples I like to wear over and over. So I'm a big denim person. Jeans are a huge part of my life. But aside from denim, because I feel like a lot of people wear jeans. Uh, my favorite style of clothing is the shirt. So I love a short sleeve button up shirt with a collar, short long sleeve, quarter sleeve, any version of that. I own so many. And that also transitioned in, transitions into the shirt dress. Shirt dresses, shirts. Those are my favorite thing. I own so many versions of it. It just is like comfortable and easy but kind of polished but still casual. I love shirts. <laughs> Someone asked me if I have taken the Pottermore test and the answer is yes. I've also taken the 20th anniversary time quiz as well that gives you like the percentage breakdown. I am a Ravenclaw like through and through. I'm like 87% Ravenclaw and then the rest is kind of filled out by Hufflepuff which I think is a really nice combination. I'm really jazzed with that. I'm like a very proud Ravenclaw and I've actually been seeing a lot of like book Hogwarts house recommendation videos and I want to make one soon and I would love to make a Ravenclaw one so if you're interested in that comment down below if you want to see it. I'm curious. WilsonY41 asked me what am I looking forward to most about Chicago? So I kind of mentioned this a little bit so I'm really excited about settling into my apartment, starting my new job, starting that new like adult chapter in my life. Shallowly though there's a few things in Chicago I'm really excited about. One of them is decorating a real adult apartment. I have lived in a college apartment for like the past four years and college apartments are great. Um, I've always had like pre-furnished college apartments of just whatever mismatched furniture is in there which is wonderful for college because you don't have to like move all your crap around if you need to switch apartments at the end of the semester it's very convenient but also you generally have a mishmash collection of furniture so I'm really excited about settling into my new place and decorating it and like putting my own personal style and some of Clay's, some of Clay's personal style into the apartment. I know not everyone's super in interior design, but like I'm super into it. I've been saving my money for like two years to be able to buy and start decorating my apartment right away when I move in. Obviously it's gonna be a process and I plan on making some videos about it on my channel, but uh, yeah, I'm so excited about that. Another thing I'm excited about is just living in a really big city. I live in downtown Austin, but Austin's a really small city compared to something like Chicago. It blows my mind to think about how big Chicago is, but just exploring the city, being able to go to museums and shows and Hamilton and all sorts of things like that, we just don't have here, and I'm really excited about it. Also, Christmas time in Chicago, I feel like is gonna be a whole new experience. Like, snow during Christmas, what a concept. So I'm gonna ask me who takes all my Instagram photos, and that is Clay. He is such a trooper. Helps me all, helps me with all of my photos. He, like, really, like, Thanks, Clay. Really appreciate ya. Hailstorm2021 asked me, what book character do I d identify most with? This is really hard. Um, I feel like growing up, Hermione Granger is obviously gonna be that. I always was just really inspired by her resilience and her intelligence and her drive to just be the best she could be in school, and I just really took that as motivation to try to do the same. Recently, I've just been really inspired by some of the women I've been reading in some of the fantasy novels I've been reading like Ray Carson's Girl of Fire and Thorns, Poison Study, and just a lot of those novels that just have women persevering through sometimes incredibly difficult or stressful situations. Um, obviously I will never encounter probably anything that they encounter because, you know, magic isn't real. But I also just find their ability to carry on to be something so inspiring. And while I might not identify with like, wow, I think we're the same, there's something really inspiring and also rewarding to see other women succeed even in fictional situations that make you feel like you can do it yourself. So a lot of those books have been really inspiring me recently in that way like carry on Reagan you could do it it's gonna be okay. Someone asked me if I've ever watched anime. Oh my god have I not talked about this on my channel? I've seen so much anime recently I haven't seen a lot but there was a time in my life like I exclusively watched anime. I could make a whole video about it if you're interested. I haven't watched it in a while, so everything's probably a little, it's like four seasons behind. But geez, some of my favorite anime, Kintama. Obviously, you gotta love the classics. A lot of the clas classic Shippuden, you know, classic Shonen shows. I watched all those, I really liked them. Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. Uh, what else? Gosh. Ghost in the Shell, absolutely love that. There's so many. I Mushishi, so many good animes out there. I love anime. I still watch all of the Miyazaki films when they're in theaters and stuff, and I try to go and see anytime a local movie theater is like playing a Japanese film, I try to go and see it. 
I love anime. I'm trying to get more people to watch anime in my life because it's dang good. And the last question I'm gonna answer is from Michelle19 and she asked me, what series besides Harry Potter do you wish you could read over and over again without, you know, experiencing it again for the first time? And uh, for this one, I'm probably gonna go with the Demon King series by Cinda Williams Trima. Um, this series was just so fundamental in developing my love for YA fantasy and just series fantasy at a younger age. And I would love to be able to re-experience it with fresh eyes as I am now. I, I just wonder if I would take different things. I guess I would want to be able to reread it with fresh eyes and then read notes from how I felt the first time I read it so I could kind of see, compare, and contrast. Um, but probably that series just because it's so fundamental to me and I just love it so much so that would be my answer to that. Alrighty guys, that is the end of my Q&A video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do love filming these and I'll tr maybe film them more regularly if you're interested. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with another one soon. Goodbye!